Hey, what is today? Sunday? Yeah. So, uh, lots of basketball happened. I have two of the three videos that are up. Um, we did lose all three of these games. Kind of a bummer. Um, but now we are in the playoffs. First game is against a team we never played against before. Um, and it's four hours away. So I won't be able to join them uh, for that. And that's going to be this Tuesday. So that makes it even worse. But if they win, then they go to a team that they, we played once, which we lost. Uh, that was a couple of days ago. Um, but we'd have to go to their gym and play them for the second playoff game. I haven't looked anything further than that, but um, that's what it's looking like right now. Uh, I tried to... Uh, I tried to stream a little bit but I only got two uh, two videos in there's so much driving time and, and uh, sitting around waiting like when you go to basketball games uh, I mean it's a little different like from like during the regular season because you're there a lot longer but having to drive somewhere uh, sometimes having to wait different sessions just to watch um, the team that you want to watch like it, it can be a hassle uh, I uh, don't travel anywhere else so I, I don't know what that is like but I always wanted to do that uh, I always thought about that of course don't have the money but uh, I always thought about I, I've seen you know some families where they can afford to have their kids just travel around and, and play basketball all year round. And not technically all year round, but pretty much close to that. And uh, some of them move and go along with them. You know, they rent hotels or whatnot. Like, like I don't know what they do exactly, but it, I just know that you know the the support system is a lot different because you know they got more time uh, that's that's one thing that I lack especially with trying to help my kids because I only have my days off and those days off are they do coincide with their days off which is, is great but uh, since they're in sports or, or doing other things uh, for school like there's not always a lot of time there so I have to try to make up for that when I am home and even if I am doing something even if I'm uh, editing a video or, or watching a bit whatever the case may be a I, I can't not set time aside for them ever. Like I have to do that instinctively. I, I feel like if they think I don't care or not paying attention, then their actions and, and reactions are going to change. And, you know, I really try to be consistent like it's not uh, not the easiest thing to do all the time especially with having to uh, do with a whole bunch of other things in life that you know an adult and a parent has to go through um, but we try the best that we can both you know the my kids and I like we, we can't uh, can't really do anything else about it right it's just like when I was growing up you know, my parents, you know, had their jobs and they did their thing. You know, I had to uh, 
do everything around their time. Like, everything was set around them. <clears throat> Which, you know, sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's not. And But you live and you learn and uh, hopefully you have a better situation next time. But right now what I what I go through is is not much really interaction with with type of my kids with the uh, school at all because they just got to figure it out I <laughs> super super grateful that my kids took advantage and wanted to excel in something that you know that sometimes might seem meaningless to a lot of people but they care about the output they they care about the re regurgitation of of the information because they want to do well like maybe that's not their end goal in life and you know they just like anyone like going to work you you have to do a lot of things you might not care about doing but you do them because it is what it is right but with school it's 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 a little different because you know they they get it done uh and if they do great you know it builds their own self-esteem it, it it builds their confidence and after a while at least from my standpoint i don't really have to do much like they knew what was right and what wasn't right they figured it out like they have they have a mind on a whole nother level that, you know, like some kids um, or even uh, adults that, you know, don't get to that point. Um, I just hope people get time. Because, you know, like I said, I, I don't get a lot of it. But there's still always time to be able to uh, take a look at your own life and um, look at every aspect of it you know you know how it is no one else does right so no one else can judge it because you go through it you live it so take everything that you do all day long and you know you, you separate it all you carpet, uh, carpentalize it uh, you 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 make sure and, and put everything in, in different categories and and which uh, which is a higher priority than others. Like, that's just how things go. And, uh, of course, everything's sped up and, you know, it's, it's all super fast and uh, you don't get to fit a lot of the things that you really want to do in that time. But just know that, you know, as long as you're attempting to try to be that better person or learn and show new things, I think you'll be proud of yourself. I mean, I know I am. I mean, I'm not the, the most well-educated person. I, uh, I'm self-taught in some things and, and, I think that's great. I'm pretty grateful, you know, for technology and, and, and the time that we live in. Cause that's a, it's a really big leg up and, and a lot of, not a lot of people take advantage of that. And, and hopefully with these videos, a lot of things that I do put out that, you know, is mostly just my opinions, thoughts and whatever, uh, that maybe it, it, it gets across to someone. I mean, I don't, I don't have an end goal with that. Never have. I, uh, I don't even really do what everyone else does on YouTube at all. You know, like it, sh it should be, uh, it should be scripted. It should be talking about, uh, you know, certain topics and, and, you know, put the thumbnail in and, 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 make sure you say this or that and 
put a promo code or whatever the case may be. I'm not I'm not made like that yet. I guess I mean I'm not to that point, but I like being real and, and, and honest as, as much as possible. So that way the, the message is hopefully a little bit more clear than uh, than you know things that you might watch otherwise that might be a little bit diluted or uh, misconstrued or just not on the same topic. Uh, no examples, just saying. Uh, but yeah, I I hope uh, whatever you do from now on, from today, whenever you watch this video, that you just try to be better. It doesn't take much. It really doesn't. Just look at the things that are going wrong in your life. Things that are making you negative or just negative in general. Um, maybe there's a lot of things you can't change. But the one thing you can change all the time is your perspective. Because it could still suck. I know. I go through it too. Like A lot of things aren't that pleasant. They're not that great. I don't like going through work and, and pain every single day. Uh, waking up to it and going to sleep to it. and You know, it's it's like my new buddy, you know. I don't like it. But that's what I have to do. Because I have responsibilities. Uh, so it doesn't matter. It never really matters the situation or... Uh, the things that I have to go through because responsibilities never change. So, yeah, that's how it goes. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. Hopefully, if they do win, well, I'll be able to go watch the second game. It'll be closer to home, about an hour away, so that'll be good. And I'm losing my voice, if you haven't noticed, because. I yelled, I yelled really, really, really loud. I mean, where I was sitting, it was like all the way back. So, uh, I mean, they probably heard me anyways. But I like cheering them on. Anyways, talk to you later.